As you see, we got a little weather to contend with on our flight. We're going to go ahead and take off and get a little closer, see if the, we can find us a nice gap, or if we just need to find an alternate airport to sit down and wait the weather out. Our traffic, Skyline 80, Papeco, taxi in the run up area 1 8 tomorrow. Wichita, Colonel James Labara Airport, automated weather observation 1407, Zulu. Wind 180 at 15, peak gusts 27, visibility 10. Sky conditions clear, temperature 28 Celsius, dew point 21 Celsius, altimeter 29092. Remarks density altitude 3300. Our traffic station air 452 Delta Delta departing 18 to the northwest tomorrow. Fire traffic, beach at 400, box box, 20 miles to the northeast, the inbound to runway 8 and about 1 8 and about 3 minutes. And shortly after this video was shot, Miss Tiffany had her check ride and she passed with flying colors and has become a member of a very small but growing group called Pilots. Jabbar traffic, Skyline 80, Papeco taking off 1 8, Jabbar. Entered runway 1A, 6,000 feet remaining. I was on the floor. Instruments are green. Airspeed's alive. And rotate. Bar traffic, Skyline 80, Pop Echo, turning right, crosswind 18. Bar traffic, Skyhawk 70541, departing runway 18 for a right downwind, north departure, Jamara. Bar traffic, Skyline 80, Pop Echo, right downwind 18, departing the area to the northeast, Jamara. It's pretty bumpy down low, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Wichita departure, Skyline, November 80, Pop Echo, IFR, request. Skyline 80, Pop Echo, Wichita approach, maintain VFR, spark 1107. 1107, zero, Pop Echo. Skyline 80, Pop Echo, radar contact, 6 miles northwest of Dubai Airport, stay altitude. Uh, 3,600. Skyline Pop Echo, clear to the 3 Tango Romeo Airport, be direct, climb maintain at 7,000. There's 2 Niner, Niner 3. Yeah, climb maintain 7,000, clear direct, zero pop back up. All right, zero pop back, read back correct. Heard 43 knots in the climb, that's not bad with that tailwind. Oh, yeah. All right, zero pop back, go, contact, handle on 127.7050. 2772, zero pop back, go, have a blessed day. Center, Skyline, November 80, Pop Echo, level 7,000. 80, Pop Echo, Roger, Emporia, altimeter 2996. 2996, Pop Echo. We're headed off to Michigan this morning. We're uh, going to meet up with our new niece, uh, Jared's new wife. They're having kind of a get together, I guess. Uh, and so, and then hopefully, We'll make a detour flight up to Mackinac Island, too. Yeah, yeah, that, I'm very excited about that. Yeah, that, that should be a good flight, good area. Love going to places we've never been before. Oh, yeah. And that's supposed to be so cool because they'll come and meet you in a, a horse-drawn carriage. There's yeah, because there's no motorized vehicles at all allowed on the island. You can expect uh, to go Except front, you can land a plane there. Exactly. And along the way, we're making a pit stop. We're going to meet up with the Live Out Loud family, uh, Morgan and Chris and their kids. They uh, are going to be, they live close to that area. Oh. And uh, they're also out doing some RV in this, uh, this week. And so we're going to meet up with them. Uh, and also, uh, the girl I went to high school with on the street with me growing up. Uh, is in the same area, so uh, 
hopefully for evening when she gets to work or dinner or something, might be able to meet up with her as well. So yeah. anyway, got several meetups today. I know, I know. If we can get around this weather, let me show you what this weather looks like. Roger, descend via the Jason arrival, landing to the east, altimeter 3005. Looks like we're going to have to do some diverting once we kind of get in that way. Yeah, kind of go around, looks a little more to the north. Now, either that or we may have to land early and kind of go from there, who knows. There's something a little different for us today. We actually have a tailwind. Now, isn't that the truth? And so we're getting about 160 knots. Ground speed, speed yeah. 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 Don't we don't get those very often, do we? Oh. Uh, two you said you get moderate turbulence. Uh, two November X ray, Roger. Uh in city approach will be working in, so you can let them know the St. Joe altimeter three zero zero two. And eight one zero alpha, you get a approach to one three. I don't care what it is, but that's the runway you're using. We'll probably do this and then cut over. That's what I'm thinking. You can do the GPS or the uh, ILS, I don't care. Clouds are kind of thickening up now. Oh, they are. Need zero pop echo, Kansas City approach one two three point nine or five. Twenty three nine or five zero pop echo. Have a blessed day. Yeah. Kansas City skyline November eight zero pop echo level seven thousand. November eight zero pop echo uh, Kansas City approach altimeter three zero zero one. Three zero zero one zero pop echo. Now that looks like a good VOR to go to. Yeah. And see, that's an SR-22 that just uh, I did, out the did a pirate zero there. Kansas City approach, Skyline, November 8th, Zero Pop Echo request. Zero Pop Echo, Zero request. Yeah, we'd like to uh, deviate to Oscar Tango Mike VOR, uh, add that to our route uh, just to get around some of this weather. Zero Pop Echo, Roger, and proceed as requested. He does request their pop echo. Appreciate you. I think two two zero. I'm at in one five thousand. Alpha six eighty seven. Does that maintain three thousand? Three thousand. Alpha six eighty seven. Oh yeah, that looks real good, Ron. Look. Oh. Yeah, that looks great. And if we get up here and it moves, then we can just go direct. Yeah, yeah we'll we'll find another. We still got a good tailwind. Oh, good. By the time we get there, we may have this hole there. I know it. That's what I'm thinking. It doesn't look that bad out that way. No, uh, it doesn't really. But it's it's really dark. Yeah see through it, so that doesn't help either. Zero pop echo, turn 15 degrees right, vectors for traffic, and that'll have back to Oscar Tango Mike here at about 20 miles. 15 right, zero pop echo. We're right in between layers, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Looking good, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's moving nicely. What's Jazz 865? He's driving for high rent, slip yeah, like here. Feet for Jazz 865. That is correct. Thank you so much. Light shop in that area. That was an hour, 17 minutes ago, so who knows now, though. Oh, that's true. A huge sports complex down here. Oh, is it? Baseball fields, yeah. Get a little bump here. Boy 3593, cross wiki at above 3000, cleared ILS, remain 9 approach. Cross wiki at above 3, cleared ILS 9, avoid 3593. Jazz 865, descent on 18, 4,000. Yeah, 4,000 feet for Jazz 865. And zero pop echo, proceed direct to Oscar Tango Mike. Direct Oscar Tango Mike, zero pop echo. It's dark over that way, but you sure don't see much. Yeah, but it's going to be rough. No, 2805, one able direct grill, don't have higher. Even these little clouds that are really dark are giving us a little. Yeah, just a little bounce. November zero, Papa Echo, contact Kansas City Center now, 125.25, good day. 25.25, zero, Papa Echo, have a blessed day. Kansas City Center, Skyline 8, zero, Papa Echo, level 7,000. Three, zero, Papa Echo, Kansas City Center, hello. St. Joseph, altimeter, two triple niner. 
Two triple nine or zero five pixel. I see here the buildups on this bad stuff. Yeah. You might get some turbulence being underneath this one here. Yeah. Probably another hour by the time we get up here and turn, and we should be on out of it then. Yeah, I think so. 805 Echo, Chicago Center, 118.15. 118.150 Pop Echo. Have a blessed day. Yeah. Chicago Center, Skyline 80 Pop Echo, level 7000. 80 Pop Echo, Chicago Center, Cedar Rapids, Alpha 3016. 3016 Pop Echo. Definitely done a pretty good job of skirting it, had my I think so. We'll go through a little bit of it when we get up to that VOR when we make our uh, direction change. Yeah. We're 50 miles from it now. Nice little town right below us. I almost think I see the VOR. Out straight in front of us. A little eight in the middle of green. Well, I see the VOR. It's right below me. All right. It's nice is we can see through it. Yeah. Might get a little sprinkle up there where the clouds are a little darker. Looks like it's only maybe 15 miles across it. I'll give or take. Out of all of that, managed to skirt all of it. I know, that's what I was just thinking. My gosh, that goes all the way down to Mississippi and went through Louisiana all the way far north. Was oh my gosh. Canada. That's a huge front. What? That yeah, is. We had we had us just, just a nice little oh yeah just a spot to just slip through a nice little slither there. Nice thing is it didn't look like there was a ton of like thunderstorm type. Now, the lightning action. was there when we were about an hour or so out and that dissipated. You see it's clearing up in front of us. Oh yeah. Right to the rear we should be in the rain. Yeah. It's clouds are holding moisture. At this point all we've gotten is a few rain drops. Barely. Even that. I mean, wasn't even on my side of the windshield. It was on your side. No. When you looked at that weather this morning when we were leaving, it was like, oh my gosh. Just, I know it. And that's all you can do. You, you you just go ahead and go, and if it gets bad, just land and yeah. wait it out. Yeah. Because you, you know. And the rain drops. Oh, you getting a few? I look at the bottom of the windshield. Oh yeah. But, I mean. All that weather looked terrible, and it was. There's areas that it's not, and you just kind of shoot for those areas. Two, you don't know if it's going to dissipate, like rain out. I mean, that was a big, huge front, but, but uh, still. The thing of it is, is, you know, we were two, three hours away from it. Yeah. Well, it can happen. It could get worse, it could stay the same, or it could get better. Well, at least you're closer to your destination. Yeah. If the land, then you can just kind of figure it out from there. I am really getting hungry. Yeah, I am too. I'm supposed to meet up with the Live Out Loud family and go get something to eat, so. Yeah, I hope they have a good restaurant for us. <laughs> I'm hungry myself. Yeah, well, we ended up a little bit later getting off than we kind of had thought we would, but. Well, I... and that's the deal of flying GA. You're not on a hard schedule. Uh, town right here is big. A ton of grain elevators right on the river. And there's a bridge. Brighten up in front of us. Yeah. Well, we're almost out of it. Oh. There's some locks right over here. And the Skyline uh, Zero Papa Echo, have an amendment to your routing advisory to copy. All right, stand by. All right, go ahead, Zero Pop Echo. Family Zero Pop Echo, you're clear to E3 Tango Romeo Airport via direct Knox. That is uh, Oscar X-Ray India direct. All right, clear uh, direct 3 Tango Romeo via Oscar X-Ray India uh, Zero Pop Echo. Family Zero Pop Echo, read back correct.
getting us on down below. Oh, yeah. They're just getting us out of the Bravo. Wish I knew where we were eating so I could plan. I could look at it up. <laughs> oh. Skyline Zero, Papa Echo, contact Chicago Center, 124.55. 2455, Zero Papa Echo, have a blessed day. Eat it. Chicago Center, Skyline 8, Zero Papa Echo, level 7000. All right, Sophia, one Zero Papa Echo, Chicago Center, RL, some risk 3016. 3016. Number two, Gulf Zero, contact Chicago Approach. 133.5, 33 33 have a beautiful day. Beautiful day. That was very nice. Zero Papa Echo, Connect Chicago Center, 132.5, 32.5. Let them know when you can go back on course. Have a beautiful day. 32.5 and have a blessed day, Zero Papa Echo. You too, thank you. Chicago Center, Skyline 8, Zero Papa Echo, level 7000. Zero, eight, zero Papa Echo, Chicago Center, Roger, King Kiki, Cal Simitor, 3018. 3018, Zero Papa Echo. Number 80, Papa Echo, contact south and approach, 125.75, have a good one. 2575, zero, Papa Echo, have a blessed day. South and approach, Skyline, November 80, Papa Echo, level 7000. Number 80, Papa Echo, south and approach, south and approach, 3016. Turn to know them at Niles, runway 4 and 22 are closed, and no weather to build, like the south end if you need it. Over. Yeah, we got the uh, weather for South Bend. Uh, winds are variable at three o'clock, five knots. So uh, we're kind of looking at visual for three three. Zero Echo, Roger. You can expect direct miles and on one five. I will expect that Joe Pop Echo. And on instruments. So turn left for Nile to the center maintain 4,000. Then 4,000, direct Nile, zero pop back home. Okay, zero pop back, go turn left heading 360, vector around something. 360, zero pop back home. They're going to put us over that way, so I guess we'll land 1 5, huh? Yep. It's a lake. You can see it good now. Oh, yeah. We're headed straight for it. We'll be turning us here a little bit. I know. Okay, like zero, pop back. Go turn right heading 0 6 0. Right to 0 6 0, 0 pop back. Marcher 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 that maintain 3,000, look at zero pop echo. That's it, because I can see the other room when we go this yeah. way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And approach Skyline 80 pop echo, we have a field inside. Skyline 80 pop echo, Roger, and are you planning on canceling in the air today? Affirm zero pop echo. Zero pop echo, Roger, I can say, or clear to approach Niles Airport report of cancellation in there. That's frequency on the ground clearance of the region, so that's frequency approved. I will go ahead and cancel Niles, zero pop echo. It's your pop echo after cancellation, you see, squawk VFR, good day. Squawk talk VFR, zero pop echo, have a blessed day. Okay, you're on CTAF. Niles, traffic Skyline 80, Pop Echoes on our right base, 1 5, full stop, Niles. Oh. Heck of an uplift, wasn't it? It was. 
Niles, traffic Skyline 80, pop echo on final, 15, full stop, Niles. Skyline 80, pop echo back, taxi and 15, head to the FBO. Um. Job, babe. Yeah. I see the flag. That's usually a good indication of where to go. Yeah. There he is. I see a tie-down marker right there. Yeah. Huge surprise for y'all, and I hope it's okay. <laughs> They're gluten free. Oh my god! Okay. okay, remember Janice's favorite cookies? You made yeah. them gluten free. Yeah. They're gluten free, oh and gosh. I mean, they, they shouldn't be cross contaminated or anything. What do you say? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Uh, a life supply? Yeah, <laughs> I love you. Oh, because you are so oh. welcome here. Thank you guys. Oh, oh, Make sure you grab a bag. Yeah, Ron and I last night. Oh That's my goodness. so sweet. <laughs> I had gluten-free flour in the house, which is because I have a. Do you, do you, can you handle gluten? Because you make this with gluten, right? Oh, okay. You just I happen did. to have gluten-free flour. Because I had a, an office egg right here. Okay. Oh my gosh! So no anyway, way. I had flour that I had used to make. Oh, thank you. And so I double-checked everything. Because she was usually gluten free. It wasn't as big a deal, but I double checked everything. Oh, so. Downhill. You should be good. Yeah. Yeah. You live, you live, you die, you die. Like the early one, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I haven't seen But it was good longer. Good short life, right? <laughs> <laughs> Once we get a picture with Janet for her famous picture. Okay. Oh, yeah. we'll let him pull it out. Am, am I caught up with you on my hair? I was or not? just thinking that, right? I think you might have. Way, guys, you gotta teach great. him. Maybe you should teach him how to do a bone. I'm not gonna do a bone. I go. <laughs> He's the not line. gonna do the bone. I'll do a bone in there. No. <laughs> the Live Out Loud family is a is a family consisting of Chris, Morgan, Jonah, and Jude, and they are full time RVers. And we've met them in Kansas and just gotten to be close, good friends with them taking them up flying before and just follow them on the Live Out Loud family. After a great lunch with the Live Out Loud family, I met up with a girl who used to live down the street from me in high school, Karen Foster. I've known her for over 50 years and we've always been real close friends. Matter of fact, she served my groom's cake when Janice and I got married. And after a fantastic dinner with Karen and Joe, 
She insisted we go to the campus of Notre Dame and check out what has been affectionately called Touchdown Jesus. Stay with us. Uh, next week's video, we'll be heading to Harbor Springs, Michigan, and after that, on to Mackinac Island.